Welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Friday, May 22. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor at Pop Prospect Presbyterian Church, and this is Take a Break, Take a Breath, a time for us to pause and, and breathe and relax and center ourselves again in God who made us and loves us and calls us. I've been working my way through the Psalms, and today is Psalm 31. Psalm 31 is a psalm that begins or moves through petition and lament and confidence in the goodness of God, and all of that leads to offering thanksgiving, a song of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the early verses, somewhere around, I think, verse 5 of that psalm is a, um, is a familiar phrase. It is, um, Luke uses it uh, to describe Jesus' words from the cross. Into your hands I commit my spirit. So it is that um, kind of idea of committing ourselves into God's hands. The verse that I want to use for reflection is, um, Blessed be the Lord, for God has shown steadfast love to me when I was as a city besieged. So I invite us to go to a room that is quiet and peaceful and away from all the noise, to sit down in a chair, close the door, sit down in a chair, and relax. Feel the peace and presence of that space and the comfort that is part of sitting down in a nice chair as it supports you. Feel the support of the chair under your legs and um, on your back and perhaps under your arms. And close your eyes and take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from God. As you breathe in, breathe in life, the breath of life. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that keeps us from life. Breathe in the breath of God. Breathe out all that separates you from God. Imagine the peace and presence of God coming to you with each breath, filling your whole body. Perhaps feel it like sunlight falling on the different parts of your body and work your way through your body. Um, imagine the peace of God coming to your feet as the sunlight hits your feet you feel the warmth of that sunlight and as it moves up your legs, your calves and your thighs and as you feel the warmth of that sunlight and the peace of God coming to you, let the tensions and the tightness in those muscles melt away so that you are drawn into God's peace and wholeness. And then let it feel it as it hits and experience it as it falls on your back and your belly and the tension in your muscles in those places is released and the pain melts away. Feel it as it hits your shoulders your arms and your hands. Feel the warmth of God as it falls on you. Maybe turn your hands, palms up and open so that you can feel that warmth and receive God's grace and peace in your hands. And feel that peace and that warmth as it falls on your neck. 
Feel all the tensions and the tightness in your neck melt away. And then imagine that sunlight falling on your head and your forehead and your face and maybe even turn your face up to that sunlight to feel it in all of its fullness. The presence of God there with you. You are washed in the light of God bathed in the light of God. You are surrounded by God's peace and presence. And in your mind's eye, go to a garden, a walled-in garden, a beautiful garden, And in the middle of that garden is a beautiful fountain. And there are places for you to sit, to take in the flowers and the sounds of the birds as they sing, and the sound of the water from the fountain. the warmth of the sunlight, the refreshment of a breeze. You're in the presence of God's creation and the presence of God. And one comes through the garden who looks like a gardener, but is not. It is Jesus. He smiles. And he sits down beside you. And he says, let's talk. I'll be quiet while the two of you talk right now. And then the time comes for you to say goodbye. If it's too soon, press pause. Then the two of you say goodbye, and after you've said goodbye, the image fades away, and you are imagine you imagine the room where you are. And when you are ready, you open your eyes. Let's take a break, take a breath for Friday. I hope that this time brings you some peace and comfort with all that is going on in our world these days. If you would like to send me feedback or you want to talk, send an email to rick at prospectchurch.org.